This is U.S. health officials advising against the general public wearing masks in early March. Should you wear a mask if you're healthy? No. There is no advantage to you wearing or buying a mask. Now states and the federal government are changing their tune on who should wear a mask. Wearing cloth face coverings in public settings where other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain. So, what's the deal with masks? To start, let's take a look at the CDC's initial guidelines on masks. It says the CDC does not recommend healthy people to wear a face mask. It should only be used by people who have COVID-19 and are showing symptoms. That sounds pretty straightforward, right? But how do you know if you are healthy? Well, from early on during the outbreak, we knew that some people who are infected with the virus may not show symptoms for up to 14 days. This is called the incubation period. And it's possible for someone to spread the virus even when they don't have symptoms. But we didn't quite know to what degree this occurs and how much it drives the outbreak. That's where countries diverged on their guidance on masks. U.S. health officials believe that asymptomatic spreading, which we've seen some evidence of, but not the major driver. You really need to just focus on the individuals that are symptomatic. Adding on top of that was the pragmatic concern that a run on masks could worsen the already severe shortage of medical supplies for hospitals and the fear that masks may give people a false sense of security. So the CDC decided not to embrace the mass public use of face masks. Meanwhile, the same evidence led health officials in Asia to a different conclusion. Countries started advising or even mandating that healthy people wear masks in crowded places, citing fear of asymptomatic transmission. As expected, the demand for masks in those places skyrocketed, causing an immediate shortage, which was eased by government intervention. And then... Now 80 cases in the U.S. 3,000. 16,000. More than 160,000 cases in the United States. More coronavirus cases than any country in the world. As the outbreak accelerated in the U.S., new cases of asymptomatic transmission challenged the reassuring message by health officials about the way the coronavirus spreads. COVID-19, it's being spread by these silent spreaders. How can you tell people to only wear a mask if they're sick, if they don't know if they're sick? Evidence grew stronger suggesting asymptomatic transmission may be responsible for more cases than previously thought, eventually prompting the CDC to adopt new thinking about the benefits of masks. With the new data that there's significant asymptomatic transmission, this is being critically re-reviewed. So how effective are face masks against the coronavirus? There are two schools of thought. Some experts think that although loosely fit masks provide little protection, it's effective in reducing transmission. And if everyone wears a mask, it can stem transmission from the people with no or mild symptoms. However, others believe that people who have no symptoms do not need to wear masks, and if worn improperly, they may increase the risk of contracting the coronavirus. One reason why some Asian countries have promoted the idea that the general public should wear masks from the beginning is likely because of their experience with SARS, a 2003 epidemic of a virus similar to the coronavirus and that spread mostly in Asia. One study found that always wearing a mask when going out was associated with a 70% reduction in risk. SARS also fundamentally changed how people in Asia view masks, removing the stigma of wearing masks in public. But the mask debate comes with two big caveats. First, there is still a dire shortage of personal protective equipment in hospitals across the country, putting medical workers at increased risk of contracting the virus. They're having us use the same mask between patients and using single-use masks up to five times or more. We desperately need to address that to give our frontline healthcare workers the best protection they deserve. And second, masks are not magic shields, and they cannot replace social distancing. Countries like South Korea that successfully flattened the curve did so by combining mask wearing with mass testing, social distancing, and rigorous contact tracing. Only by using a combination of methods and by working together can we effectively stop the spread of the coronavirus.